Okay, today we're going to show you a Royal Master. This is a TG12 by 3. It means it's got a 12 inch diameter grinding wheel, uh, 3 inches wide. Um, so this machine also has on it an automatic infeed uh, cycle attachment, which is nice to have. And this machine uh, has the uh, variable speed uh, electronic um, drive for your regulating wheel. So uh, we've cleaned this machine up nicely. We've uh, replaced the bearings in the main motor. Uh, we've put new belts on the spindle. And overall, just went through the whole machine and cleaned up all the grime and dirt on it and uh, re-lubricated re everything and put it all back into uh, running condition. All right, so start up the grinding wheel. That's your grinding spindle. Over here on the end, this turns your hydraulic pump on and off. You also have an automatic uh, a way lubrication, which uh, lubricates the bottom of this uh, slide, which is adjustable. This adjusts in and out. Uh, this is set up right now for through feed grinding of thin wire. Uh, that's what most of these get used for. Uh, this is going to need uh, air hooked up to it. So let me just go get my air line. All right, so this is your in-feed hand wheel, and this uh, you make your rough adjustments to get your part on size, and then you have an automatic stroke, which moves this in at a rapid speed, and then uh, slows down to a grinding speed, and in the end, sparks out. We'll do that again. It rapids in, feeds down to zero, waits for a time, and retracts. That's, the, that's a full automatic cycle. The, the rapid in, the feeding uh, for the grinding and um, <clears throat> the spark out. Now, you would leave this uh, in the in position and shut it off if you were doing through feed grinding because you don't want uh, it opening and closing. The opening and closing is actually for if you're going to be doing uh, a plunge grinding where you're going to have a part in between the wheels or a, for a certain shape on it and you're going to come in, you're going to grind it, and then you're going to go out again and, and uh, remove it. So machine's in great shape, sounds really nice. These are your dressers up here. They follow a template. You can get these templates made in different uh, styles. You have a speed back here for two knobs to control the forward and the reverse movement, plus your, your down feed thimble to, to drive your diamond into the wheel. The same with your grinding wheel dresser. You have also, uh, we replaced the hydraulic hoses on here, so you got all brand new hydraulic hoses. The hydraulic tank was removed and cleaned out completely and flushed out. Um, again, she's ready to go. Got a cooling system over here and a pump that goes with it. Machine's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. It's going to need air. Uh, here you've got uh, two different speeds you can program into it, your grinding speed and your dressing speed. Generally when you uh, dress the wheel, you're going to go a lot faster than you do when you, uh, when you grind the workpiece. So you can have the two different uh, speeds set up in there. This has also got the air sensing or sensing type uh, of dresser. This is more uh, precision a dresser than the standard uh, on your grinding wheel, which is where you want to have it. All right, so uh, that pretty much covers all the bases. Anything I left out, you can always call me here at Machinery Values. Uh, thank you very much.